Tonight, the city of Homewood honoring the back-to-back -back champion Lakeshore Lakers at tonight's city council meeting. The National Wheelchair Basketball Association varsity champs are capping another great season with a 22 record. James Giles joins us after the city gave the team a proclamation. James, anybody talking about a three-peat yet? Well, Steve, Brittany, like true champions, it's already on their mind. Head coach Savannah Gardner says the moment's over and done now, and now they're back at back at work looking to do it again. She does point out how significant it is, though, for the group to be to receive the same recognition as their able-bodied peers would. Coach Gardner, a product of the Lake Shore Foundation, which is the nonprofit the team falls under, says it continues to be huge when it comes to providing opportunities for student athletes with disabilities. She adds, it's a huge honor to be recognized and acknowledges there are places for folks with special needs, but that's just not who they are. That's still a very common misconception. Um, when you hear about wheelchair basketball for the first time or you see a group of, of young athletes that may be in chairs, um, but that's not us at all. We've fought tooth and nail for two back-to-back -back championships. And we have a massive target on our back to do it again, and our goal is to turn around and do the same. And like I mentioned, Coach Gardner says they are already back in the gym practicing right now. See, she says season practices start in August with their first tournament being sometime around October. You can read more about the Lakeshore Foundation at the link in this story on the WBRC Fox 6 News app. Reporting live in Birmingham, James Giles, WBRC Fox 6 News, on your side.